Hello guys, I welcome you all to my YouTube channel Hope RBI. In this particular lecture, I am going to introduce you all to a time bound preparation strategy for your RBI grade B 2022 examination. So what I am going to do is, I am going to set a target time for you guys and in that particular time you are required to cover specific topics which I am going to assign to you and in that particular time period you are urged or requested to read or study those topics very very descriptively in a detailed manner so that you would be able to attempt each and every question in an MCQ test which I am going to put up for you guys after the end of that target time. Okay, so that MCQ test will be very difficult. I will be very harsh in putting each and every question for you guys because you cannot actually predict the level of examination now. It will be difficult. We all know that. But how difficult the examination can go, that we cannot predict. So in order to prepare for the worst case scenario, I'm going to put this MCQ test in such a manner that you will be, you know, uh, flabbergasted as well as astonished by whatever kind of question you are going to see going to encounter in this particular test okay it will be very beneficial for my preparation as well as for your preparation so the target time for the first time bound preparation strategy let's say it's number one okay so the target time is first to 8th april 2021 okay and the mcq test will be available on 9th april i will be putting the mcq test on the telegram channel so make sure to uh, subscribe to the telegram channel and also the telegram group that i've created for this channel so link will be in the description okay so let's come on to the topics which are to be covered during 1st april to 8th april 2021 okay so let's talk about let me adjust this let's talk about your quantitative aptitude so quantitative aptitude the first topic that you are required to cover thoroughly in these eight to nine days is percentage only one topic percentage i'm giving a very easy topic for you to start with okay so you have to cover percentage in these eight to nine days very very thoroughly cover each and every question from any book that you are referring to or any kind of test series or mock test series that you are actually referring to cover wholly this topic and i will be putting up some important questions and some very very difficult question from this particular topic for reasoning for reasoning the topic is syllogs syllogism or syllogs okay I will be putting very difficult questions for you. I will not only be putting the questions regarding the statements and then the conclusions, but also in the reverse order that you have the conclusion given in your question and you have to pick out the statements. These questions are very, very important and these are encountered in the RBI grade B examination. So cover syllogism as a whole topic very, very descriptively in these eight to nine days. The third topic that you are needed to cover from English, okay is english is mostly about improving your vocabulary so you have to improve your vocabulary by uh, remembering or learning 50 synonyms 50 antonyms and 100 idioms and phrases you can choose whatever phrases you can choose whatever kind of source uh, uh, that you are comfortable with and uh, you can prepare each and every aspect of these three things in these eight to nine days um, very very carefully and very very uh, you know deeply because English is all about your vocabulary and your grammatical skills so in order to increase your vocabulary you have to remember these things that I have assigned to you the next topic is your ESI economic and social issues so we are talking about the static portion here and we are considering phase two descriptive and phase two objective both as a whole okay so the topic is measurement of growth measurement of growth you can cover it from whatever kind of source you are referring to either ncert or your uh, youtube channels or whatever kind of source you are comfortable with you can cover this topic in these eight days okay so for ESI, your topic is measurement of growth. For finance, you are required to cover time value of money. Very, very simple topic. And there is not much to cover in the descriptive portion of this topic. And there is much 
to cover in the descriptive portion of measurement of growth okay you can have some good questions in the descriptive section of measurement of growth so you are required to cover this topic keeping in mind the phase one uh, phase two descriptive as well as objective paper okay and uh, the time value of money is mostly numerical based or you know some kind of conceptual things are there but it's mostly required in your objective kind of paper okay so you have to cover it uh, on the basis of that particular strategy and the third is your management very very important your management the topic is your motivation motivation is a very big topic so particularly for these eight days you are required to do the content based theories content based theories you can refer to any kind of sources whether ignu notes okay or whether any kind of book, book that you are referring to it is well enough to actually know about the motivation theories or uh, content based theories to be very specific so you have to cover all the content based theories keeping in mind the descriptive as well as the objective paper and uh, in these eight days you will be uh, able to you know get to know about each and every theory and each and every uh, concept very very easily because motivation is very easy topic and the answer framing to this particular topic is also very easy in compared to uh, in comparison to your uh, finance and your esi section okay so remember that and the next topic is your general awareness in general awareness you are specifically told to do the current affairs current affairs from 1st to 8th april okay daily from 1st to 8th april from whatever kind of source whether it's gk today whether it's affairs cloud whether it's uh, any kind of compilation that you are referring to or your newspapers okay so you are required to read each and every concept of current affairs from 1st april to 8th april daily okay now comes the newspapers newspaper read all the editorial sections editorial sections daily okay because in the mcq test as well as in the test that i'm going to um, uh, give you on the 9th april i will be framing one essay from the editorial sections that were in 1 to 8th april newspapers okay remember that you have to cover each and every editorial section from the newspapers that you are referring to from 1st april to 8th april and i will be putting up one essay for you guys in consideration to those editorial sections okay moving on the report there are various reports out there so the report that you need to cover from 1st to 8th april is your economic survey the latest economic survey okay latest one cover it in depth okay don't refer to any kind of compilation don't refer to anything which is summarized cover the whole document by itself there is an app also there is an app for economic survey as well and there is an app for uh, union budget as well okay download these apps and cover economic survey thoroughly from that particular document in 1 to 8th april time period okay and for index you have to cover human development index latest cover human development index latest uh, in the time period of 1 to 8th april i will be framing very good questions from all of these topics that i am actually assigning you to cover in these 8 to 9 days okay and the last topic that you are required to cover is the government schemes you are required to cover two government schemes daily okay and cover at least about each and every government scheme in these eight to nine days from a particular ministry that is ministry of finance go to the ministry of finance website and cover each and every government scheme mentioned in that particular website okay you are required to cover two government schemes daily and while covering that you will be able to cover each and every scheme of ministry of finance in these eight to nine days okay so this is the whole kind of strategy that i am actually trying to convey to you so that you would be able to you know cover it in a timed manner let me adjust this i'm so sorry i'm not very good with mouse so all of these things okay you are required to cover all of these things 
from 1st April to 8th April and get ready for the difficult paper you could ever imagine you could ever encounter in your entire preparation phase on 9th of April okay I will be very very harsh in putting up this paper and I will actually make myself prepared for it as well as for you guys to prepare in very very cool very very calm manner but the examination that you will be witnessing on 9th April the MCQs that you will be witnessing or the descriptive questions that you will be witnessing it will be very very difficult for you to actually uh, attempt but I want you guys to face this kind of exam because it is the need of the hour now okay so this is the first time bound strategy for you guys cover these topics in these eight to nine days and we will be uh, and i personally will be actually not only be testing you i will not only be testing you but i will also be learning from you because i will attempt the same test which i will assign to you guys as well and i will share my own score as well okay and you have to share your scores as well okay i will personally check all of those descriptive answers all of those descriptive essays your mcqs and all and i will actually tell you what you need to do or what you actually are good at uh, in the telegram channel i am telling you guys again and again to follow the telegram channel and follow the telegram group that i have created for this particular channel so thank you so much for watching this video i hope it really helps you and i hope it really helps me as well to learn from all of you guys so thank you so much have a wonderful day Great day.